But once again, we're doing a viewer request of vehicles whenever it comes to the tech trees of War Thunder. And Lewis, which I'm not going to try to pronounce the whole username because I think I would just butcher it, wants us to play the Chinese 8.0 Bulldog for some neat suffering compilation. Now, the thing about it is, is that I've already spaded this thing once. It, I, I legitly did spade it. I mean, if you want to see here, this was the stats I got in it before playing in this video. 60 deaths, 96 kills. I honestly think that's pretty good with this type of vehicle because really, it's really terrible for what it is. And it's at about a rating of 8.0 where you're seeing a ton of stuff that's just stabilized, ton of stuff that's just better than you. And it is always a little bit of a struggle, especially in an up chair with this thing. Now, the reason that I think that this thing is a huge struggle is because of the gun. The gun itself is pretty much you take the bulldog that's in the, any other tech tree. So like you take the American one, for example, you take the M41 over here. This thing right here, even though it's got a funky looking skin on it, it's the exact same vehicle. It's set for you take it to China, you give it an APFS DS and you give it a heat FS. And then you also make it about like, I think it's like three tons heavier. I mean, like we do have this one over here. Yeah, it's about three tons or two tons heavier whenever it comes to the vehicle itself. So already you're not looking good whenever it comes to the M41D. But did you know there's even more negatives to this vehicle whenever it comes to mobility? So if you go to X-Ray, you go to the engine, you're like, oh, 405 horsepower engine. That sounds pretty all right. Must be pretty good. You know, you have 45 you know, miles per hour in the forward and you have 11.3 in the backwards. Now let's go to this one, which is at 5.0, by the way. It has just a better engine. So 500 horsepower at 5.0. And then the transmission is, a, is the same, but it does have a little bit more in the reverse. Now you may think, well, dog, it says it's the same thing. But because of that horsepower and as well as the tonnage increase, the like acceleration of the vehicle is extremely poor what it is and whenever you're having a light tank especially at these higher battle ratings within war thunder your mobility is really what matters whenever it comes to getting on the flanks of enemies and also just being able to do very effectively with these vehicles and sadly the bulldog is just not one of those now you do have the 76 once again it, it can fire apfsds as you can see here it's m464 it is just smidge like just a smidge better funny enough than the hstvl's uh apfsds like not much at all probably like maybe two or three millimeters of pin. But the thing about the HSTVL of why it's a little bit good is it's got a 1.5 second reload rate. Why you go look at China with the M41D, you're sitting at a 6.8 second, which I don't believe like, let's uh, let's like uncrew this thing real quick and show you guys the actual like reload. Yeah, it's at 7.6. So a little bit rough, you know, whenever it comes to a vehicle like this and let's just see how we do with it and see if we can actually do pretty well with the M41D. So I'll see you guys in the gameplay and we'll be there in a minute. The one thing I did forget to note whenever it comes to the M41D is that you do have thermals. So on these like overcast maps, at least you have some sort of advantage versus like majority of the vehicles that you face. Sadly, this map isn't up here though because there's a bunch of scary vehicles like 255 AMB ones, which is always pretty interesting. As you can see here, for a light tank, our mobility is very sluggish. Like, I wasn't lying to you guys. This is probably the downfall of this vehicle is that the mobility is just trash. And for a light tank, that is one thing that you kind of like want to have to be really good. So you're able to get into positions a little bit quicker than most people. Like the WMA 301 is doing kind of like right now. So if you're just rushing up the middle, I'm going to try to play a little bit passively because like, as you can see, we also don't have a stabilizer. So we're not able to push into the map itself. And the big thing I don't want to do is I don't want to shoot enemies and then they have like a chance to shoot me because the, the thing is I'm not relying on the round to do one shot kills. Like I'm, I'm pretty much guaranteeing that I'm going to put at least like two or three rounds into people. And that's why I bring so much ammo because, well, I'm just a little pinata anyway. I mean, I'm going to die if I get hit, but it's also really crap if you just run out of ammo because, well, for one, you just don't have enough ammo. So that's why I bring... 22 APFS DSs and then also bring a quite a bit of a or heat FSs for the simple fact of is just sometimes it feels like your heat FS would do just had a bit more damage which is always always very interesting to actually think about and, and it's also another thing to think about is I wish this thing had an AP round and the reason I wish they had AP is purely so whenever I'm on the sides of enemies I can just shoot them once and it kills them like there's sometimes this APFS DS is just so bad it does have the little scout drone that you can use too, but honestly, to me at least, whenever I'm like playing War Thunder, I never really see a use for the scout drone. I'm like a personal level, right? 
So I understand like you can like scout, you can do all the wonderful things when it comes to, um, you know, doing that sort of thing, but you don't get any RP or SL from it. So it's not really that beneficial for an individual to do it. If you're like in a team or something, you're trying to like win games, then yeah, the scout drone is pretty, pretty useful. 100% though, this is not my preferred play style when it comes to like things. I really like being aggressive with them, getting on the like length of maps and stuff. But this one sadly just can't do it. Like it's, it's, it's kind of like that. It's like, I, I really wish. So like, I understand Gaijin uses ammo for balancing. So if you've ever wondered why, oh, why does my M1A1 Abrams not have like a silver bullet or something? And use it so they can put different vehicles at different battle ratings so you can flesh out lineup. And I kind of wish for this vehicle, and I know it would be a controversial change of just removing the APFSDS and putting it at a reasonable battle rating and even remove the thermals even like there's probably like, you know, situations of where this thing wasn't equipped with thermals. Uh, I know this is like an upgraded like variant of the vehicle itself, you know, from the Bulldog. But I don't really see a reason why it has to be that. I'm pretty sure you're not dead, are you? No, you're not. So let's go and get him. Our one and only probably kill this whole game. Because we just have to play so passively. It, su it sucks so much. It really does. Is that a guy way back there? Oh, it was. It's scouted. I can't really tell what you are. Oh, it's a Tam. Tam the man can mess us up. Sadly, he messed up. I ain't going to give him another shot. Man, it just feels so bad when this thing is like struggling to climb a hill. Oh, no. I did get a gunner, but I do believe you has commander override, so this is kind of bad. Uh, let's try it. Ah, damn it. I wanted to try to get his commander so I could maybe kill him, but I don't really think this is going to work that well. Oh, can you just shoot through this? No. Why? Oh, is he able to get, like, just a smidge above me? Oh, this is kind of bad. Hang on, this try to do something at least. You have them scouted, so I mean there is that. Our best like option here is to just kinda back away, but sadly and maybe maybe he um messes up. There we go. Was able to get out of that situation, just barely. He almost had a shot, so <laughs> gonna have to watch out for that. He should be repaired by now, right? On track him or something. There we go. Right down the good old Coat. Interesting little shot there. Like, is there any vehicles in War Thunder that you guys like just despise of the way it is? Even though like you prefer the vehicle itself. Like, I love this little thing. I love the Bulldog, the way that it looks and everything. It just reminds me of like tank. Like in general, it just looks like a tank. And I think that's always really cool. As a guy. Sadly, I don't have enough gun depression. Come on now. Come on. Gaijin, please. Why don't you guys give me on just a slight little hill and then the gun uh, elevation is just so bad. Are you seriously revenge bombing? Well, I don't really think that's a revenge bomb, but I mean, like, you're seriously bombing a wonderful, wonderful M41D. You know what? I take that one personally. We're going after you. Oh yeah, so slightly a bit of a kind of up here in a west because we're at 110. But the thing about it is, is an, it's another map that really doesn't benefit from an M41D uh, being in the battlefield. I'm going to try to go to like the A line, just like stay in there kind of, see how we can do. But yeah, I don't really expect you know, us to do much within this game. And as you can see here, a Chieftain, well it's a Mark V, it's got the upgraded engine. But a Chieftain is almost keeping up with a light tank, which is crazy. I'm not even sure about the spade status of that thing. Which we are starting to get a little bit more distance from now, which is kind of expected at the end of the day. But yeah, we're going to see if we can play the like kind of open area over in this area of the map. Not 100% sure we'll be able to, but we definitely will try to do it. Oh no, a slightly bit of a hill that any other tank in the game should be able to go up. Can this thing go up it? No. And neither can the Bradley, but I mean, I mean, most tanks would add enough speed to just yoink it up there with that one. All right, we both failed. GG. Have to go up this little like little ramp thing that Gaijin made for us. See, the thing about this map is normal people. Nobody plays this like outskirts out here. Everyone plays into the cities. 
So I highly doubt that anyone is going to actually be out here. Oh, there's actually one. Wow. That's actually two. Fair enough. I, I accept. Transmission them at least. I tried to go for ammo, but it kind of like didn't do as like what I thought it would do. Ah, uh, down to shoot him. Yeah, I think I just shot him. This kind of sucks about the spot rating is that I can't do the whole scooting maneuver whenever it comes to uh to the thing because I don't have I don't have a stabilizer. So yeah, it's it's kind of a little bit odd. I don't really like this at all. Ow. Yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I mean, I can I can shoot at the leopard, right? I could maybe hit him, and it's not going to be a one-shot kill. I mean, I, I just know what's not going to be, because this is not the cannon that can do that. What was that from? Hello? That was like over in there somewhere, right? I have no clue. Attention to the map. Well, that was a great post pin. That's over to my left somewhere. Oh, do I have to also remind you that this cannon also is very inaccurate for what it is? I also have to remind you about that wonderful feature of this cannon. Let me see. Is that sometimes I can't hit the broad side of a barn? Oh, is he just sitting there? In this particular circumstance, I'd rather worry about a leopard right now, not a heli. And a T-55. Ah, come on. A little bit too far in front of him. God, I really don't want to just be shooting at a heli. Like, we have so many planes. Like, we have so many planes. People have headsets. All they have to do is just listen. And you can hear these helicopters, like, just sputting around. But do people actually do it? No, they don't. And then, once again, we're not able to get a kill because of this wonderful APFSDS that does no damage, even though we pen, even though we do everything correctly. The round itself is garbage. So to finish off this video, I finally got 100 kills in this thing. I feel like that is good enough. You know, 65, 100. We're... we're at a lucky number, I do believe, whenever it comes to kills with the M41D. But the, the thing about it is, is this vehicle kind of reminds me more of the fact that lineups really do matter within War Thunder. Because most of those maps that I was getting for playing this vehicle, I would have never picked the M41D. There's only going to be certain circumstances I would ever want to actually bring this thing out. And basically, that would be a very overcast large map whenever it comes to that sort of gameplay. Like being able to do that in a down tier even. Would just make the M41D very good because it has thermals, has laser rangefinder, and you'll just be able to map people whenever it comes to actually using this vehicle, which I think is going to be way better than playing it in the cities and way better than doing anything else. So yeah, guys, if you have any more recommendations whenever it comes to playing vehicles within War Thunder, remember to leave them in the comments of this video, and I will see you guys in the next War Thunder video.